the now ubiquitous IC705 would have to be one of the most popular radios of its time. Its uses are endless. Well, almost. If you enjoy SOTA, parks, microwave or radio in the great outdoors, then this is the radio for you. CK3 SLJD, a portable CK7 JON. Having received great accolades and a long list of positives, some might say there's one thing missing on the IC705, and that's the 23cm band. The good news, it's a relatively easy fix with the help of a transverter from SG Labs. Over nine, just seeing the little uh, red of the over nine, so uh, quite a good signal there, Andrew. You As a convert to the microwave bands and the IC705, it's easy to overlook the 23 centimetre band. VHF, uh, like two metres and up, is just crazy busy, that's where all the action is. 1296 seems to be a band stuck between UHF and microwave. The runt of the litter, so to speak. With so many IC705s and other QRP radios, such as the Yaesu FT818 and 817, there's a relatively cost-effective way to add 23 centimetres to the kit. Introducing the SG Lab 23 centimetre transverter. This transverter will set you back 156 euros, or in round numbers, 250 Australian dollars, plus shipping. It also comes with its own PCB antenna to get you going. This device has a super hot receiver, as well as a typical output power of two and a half watts. You're not going to have an EME contact, but you may just have a QSO over 100 kilometers or so. If you're perched on a hilltop, a couple of watts is going to do the trick. All you need to do is build the transverter into a lightweight, self-contained box, just like this one. This protects the fragile SMA connectors and the unit from damage. These are a lot of fun to assemble. Get yourself a strong sealed aluminium box of IP65 specifications. This 222 by 146 by 55 millimeter box will cost you around $40. It's a good investment to protect your transverter from dust and moisture. Don't spend $10 or less and buy a lesser quality product. A self-contained power supply is a must. It's one less thing to carry and worry about when going portable. I use three Series 18650 batteries. These 3.7 volt 2600 milliamp hour batteries cost $11 each and will give many, many hours of transverter action. And don't forget a battery holder too. While you're shopping, grab a selection of switches, plugs and cables. You'll need an IF input connector. I use a panel mount N-type to SMA. For RF out, I use a generic SMA to SMA coax that terminates to a panel mount on the top of the box. These cables are a dime a dozen on eBay if you don't want to make them up yourself. The external DC input is a two-pin mic jack. Importantly, don't forget a fuse. And you'll need two DC switches, one to select internal and external supply, and the other as an on-off switch. Make sure this one has an LED in it so you can see at a glance if the transverter is powered up at night. A TX LED is also a must. In this case, I used an LED with a 12 volt source and a series resistor to ground. The transverter has a built-in sequencer, which has an open collector NPN transistor. It goes low 25 milliseconds after transmit. Finally, to the PTT. Using the SEN slash ALC jack on the IC705, the radio will give you a TX ground output via a 3.5mm jack. I use this to switch the 23cm transverter, hence the RCA connector on the side of the box marked TX ground. 
Sure, you can RF switch things, but that's not the best for SSB operation. The transverter also has a stereo 3.5mm jack. The tip is used for transmitting, and the ring is used for the sequencer output that I've used to drive the transmit LED. So if you want to add 23 centimeters to the IC705, you'll probably do it for around 400 to 500 bucks. The IC705 is made for portable use, and the 23 centimeter band is a great band for elevated use. The antennas are nice and small, easy to build, and cheap as chips for bits. Try making a bi-quad antenna from offcuts you have in your junk box. Finally, the SG Lab transverters are fantastic value for money, technically great, and they just work. Add this project to your ever-growing list of things to make and build. Next time you're portable, be sure to call CQ on 1296.1. You'll be surprised who's listening, and who knows, you may get the bug to go higher. Thank you.